Hi, uh, for today's blog, um, I just kind of want to mention about, um, what some things I've had applied it for, for more jobs, and, um, as for, for Saturday on my day off, I'm kind of just hoping to, you know, just, you know, be able to get some chores done around the apartment and go into a thrift sale or usually the guy that has the thrift sale has nothing but garbage, literally, but you never know. Like I said, um, as I want to show you, um, basically I am still thinking about it for some things, but I'm still waiting for my Pepsi stuff reward to come in the mail. I put in for the order on June 1st of 2018, and here we are, June 19th, and it has not arrived. I gave them the right mailing address and everything, and it still hasn't came. Um, my mom said that someone from Janesville called her, asking about her foot and knees, and I told her, I didn't put her down for anything dealing with Medicaid, and I didn't apply for SSI disability. So, and I told her the only one I gave her the phone, her number to was Prevera Healthcare, which is through Marshall Clinic St. Joe's. Where they can talk to her about my medical issues. That's it. So, um, yeah. And the other thing is, um, well, like I kind of don't want to go saying is. Like, with with a lot of things, like the man sale that I'll go to on Saturday, which isn't that far of a drive. Um, he usually does have antiques and a bunch of tools. And then I'm hoping that there's something worthwhile to go there. But it's usually a waste of gas. So I'll tell you, last year I went there looking and I didn't buy a thing from him. So, um, the other thing is, um, uh, you know, I'm also thinking about going back to the cobblestone. As I'm showing you, this is what I got from the cobblestone today. And... Um, pretty much, um, another thing is, you know, with my husband and I, you know, the other reason why we're, we've been trying for about two years to conceive our first child is we want to have a couple kids. All I'd want is two kids. You know, since I don't have any medical insurance and nothing, I haven't been able to see a doctor. There's some things where I seriously do need to see a doctor about. Like, like I hate to say it to Ernie when he said that, um, Dr. Kurt to Dr. He sees through Marshall Clinic. Um, 
suggested I should see my OVGN, and I'm like, I don't have one. If if I had one through Gunderson, I would have had to drive away from Chippewa Falls to La Crosse. Yeah. So, because I was, before I got married to my husband, going to Gunderson Lutheran Medical Facility on things. I don't have a set doctor. My husband does. I would usually see any available doctor. I think the only physician I had set was the eye doctor, Dr. Frederick, at the Whitehall Clinic. So, yeah. So, um, uh, the other thing is, well, like I hate to say with Pepsi, it's like, I wish they would give you shipping information right away of when they ship out your item that you redeem your points for. Because, um, I could say this. I've been waiting for the last two weeks for that neon Pepsi clock to get here. And it hasn't. And I hate to say I should have gotten here on the 8th of June. Or sooner. And I've been sitting here waiting for it to come. So, uh, like I said, I might have to email them because I don't know how long it'll come. I might have to email them if it don't come on the 22nd, let's say. And, yeah, because, too, if they don't send you that item... Like I said, they might have to give me back the 100 points I used to redeem for that clock. So, like, like I said, they, they do got to think on that level, too. So, and, um, yeah. Because seriously, if they don't give me my, um, get my item here by a certain time, yeah, probably going to have to say something, so, so that way, um, I get something, either my 100 points I use towards it back to me, given back to me, or... You know, they send me the item, you know. So, like I said, um, I would have loved to have done a, a review on it, but it just hasn't got here. So... I don't know what's taking so long for it to get here. And, uh, and that's another thing too. Um, I got something coming from Daniel Colby off of American Pickers. Um, like I said, um, she is my Instagram follower, and like I said, I never begged her to follow me or anything. Um, still, it's unreal that she's been following me for about a year. She liked it, like, I think four pictures that I had on my Instagram, which surprised me. And I commented on her post, she surprised me by commenting back. Where I said her, the crown in her photo of her that she was wearing 
is gorgeous and it looks like it's from 1930s and she commented back saying it is so yeah and um well like I hate to say it to people um I do have a quarter of Cherokee Native American blood in me. Um, yes, I'm white, but <laughs> um, I was bidding on some on a pawn necklace from Daniel Colby, but someone overbidded in my opinion on it because they want they just wanted it real bad. Some people on eBay, if they want it real bad, they'll overpay for a Dover bid. Just so they could get their hands on an item that was owned by someone that was on TV. And, um, I, like I hate to say it, yeah, I should have gotten the winning bid on it and gotten it. I would have worn it because I am, like I said, I got Native American blood in me. Not a whole lot, but still. That's why I don't go trying for casino money is because um, I just don't have enough in Native American blood in me. So, um, with some other topics I like to hold on to is, um, I am going to hopefully sometime down the road start trying to flipping some antiques online but there will be some things I'd wind up having to have a reserve on due to circumstances so I don't really lose money because I did lost money on two items I tried to flip on eBay and I ain't gonna let that happen again just to let y'all know